Welcome back to another episode, family. Afro Senpai here, and today we are talking about how much money I made going back into debt. Yes, you heard that correctly. I make money by going into debt. Here's debt. Here's me going in, and then money comes out. Let's go. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you grew up with not a lot of disposable money and you're wondering if you could ever become a millionaire, you need to subscribe to this channel because, ow, because I'm going to show you how to get there. All right. So a couple months ago, I did a video on me taking out multiple loans to put money into the stock market and i just paid off all those debts and now i want to go over my returns we're only focusing on the first five thousand dollar loan that i took out so it may look confusing let's just go over one thing at a time so what i'm highlighting for you right here is each of the months i was charged interest the loan started in march and ended in october this yellow box right here I bought 20 shares at 105 and I bought another 20 shares at 113. We're averaging it out to 109. I originally bought 40 shares, but I sold off five so I could buy into some other stock. So I currently have 35 shares of Zoom. The current price is $406. Total interest paid. This is just a sum of what you saw up here. Let's see, initial value. This is how much I put into Zoom. Because I have not sold the 35 shares, I have an unrealized gain of $9,000. And this right here is if I was like Dave Ramsey, he would probably say something along the lines of don't ever get a loan. It's stupid being in debt. And I'm trying to show you why it's not stupid because you can use it to buy things that give you more money. It's ridiculously stupid. Or if I did not get any loan, I would have made roughly 9,000 off of the deal. So you may be thinking, well, that's stupid. You got into debt and you paid interest and you only got about 800 extra dollars. Hold on there, chief. Let's go over to this one right here. This is again, me starting with the $5,000 loan. Yes, that is a horrible interest rate. Don't ever do this, okay? I had a payment of $400 over here. Anytime I had additional money, I wanted to pay that sucker off as fast as possible. But the reason I did this is because in March we had that dip, right? And I said, oh, I got to put money into this because this is about to blow up. Paying, 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 paying. Last payment was in October. This is my interest paid. And this is B. This was me doing this crazy calculator. And so my calculator estimated that I would pay about $300 in interest when it was all said and done. And over here, that was pretty true to the game because I paid 280. Now, if I did not take out a loan in April with uh, $400 and an extra $1,000 here, I would have been able to get nine shares of Zoom because Zoom's price at that time was 151. The next month, I could have paid for six, it bumped up to 174. And so at this point, it was going up into the mid 400s, low 500s, and I wouldn't have been able to um, buy any new shares because I was only putting away 400 a month. And then I stopped calculating because I was out of debt with this. But at the end of the day, I would have only had 22 shares of Zoom. With 22 shares at 406, I would only have $8,900, right? We're gonna scroll down here and see how much I have in total. So loan leveraging profit, we're gonna take my unrealized gains and we're going to subtract the interest that I paid and we're gonna get 9,500. But my total asset net worth is 14K because of the original 4,300 that I put down. We're subtracting the asset net worth with the having no loans and I made an extra $500 by going into debt and then paying it off quickly. So this number right here is me taking my loan profit 
dividing by seven, which is the duration of months uh, that I had the loan out. Being in debt isn't a bad thing if you're using your money wisely. I will do this process again. If I find a loan like that key bank loan, 1%, are you kidding me? You're gonna give me 5K and all I have to pay back is 1% of that 5K? I'm gonna take that all day and buy assets with it. It's ridiculously stupid. But anywho, that's gonna do it for this episode. Tell me in the comments if you think all debt is bad. And also, would you ever do something like this? Now, if your money isn't, if your money isn't right, if you don't have a budget, if you don't track stuff, I do not recommend you doing this one bit. I am like a hawk with my money. If I see like three cents missing, I'm like, what, 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 we gotta check this. What, what, what happened? I am on top of the budget almost every single day. I would build up to something like this. If you're interested in flipping debt for a higher profit, you gotta have that budget in line first, but you have to understand interest and all that fun stuff. But proof is in the pudding. You can get money off of being in debt. I hope you learned something. Hope I've changed your mind. If you're one of those Dave Ramseyites out there, if you follow Dave Ramsey, you, you, you don't like what I just did, did, do you? It's okay, it's okay. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and remember to smile because you are beautiful.